Welcome to Italia Conti Virtual. Please make sure you read the disclaimer before taking part. Be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell for alerts on all new upcoming content. And have a good class. Hello everyone, welcome to this jazz class. So we're going to take you through a normal jazz technique class, starting with our cardio, where you can just follow along, we'll just go straight with the music and then we'll go into our stretching isolations and some combinations where we can break it down a little bit further. So I've got Hannah today who will be demonstrating and working with me. So you're just going to start by jogging on the spot. Make sure you're going through your feet. So every time you're jogging, you really want to be going through those feet so you're warming them up. Let's take the arms up. And in front. Again, up. In front. And star jump out. You're going to do four to each side, turning to the right. And back. Side. Again. So really keep your arms strong as you're moving. Tight four every time you're jumping. Back. You're going to do two jumps and then squat down. So again, you're working through your feet and then really coming down. So you're warming up those legs and getting some strength. Keep going. Eight. Good, Hannah. Seven. Six. Lovely. So as you can see, Hannah's getting really low in her squat. Lovely tight core. Shoulders pressed down. We're going to go back to our jog. Good. So like I said, really going through those feet and building up our stamina in our warm-up. You take those knees up and arms to fifth. So here you're really focusing on keeping those lat muscles down, getting your stamina up, but really getting strength in your upper body. We're going to go to the side. So three steps. As you lift that knee, you're engaging your core further. Stretch your feet each time. Double time, here we go. And a one. This is quite hard if you get uncoordinated. But the timing goes. And a one, and a two. Good, Hannah. Good, we're going back to our jog. Soften it a little bit. Catch your breath, but still going through your feet. Good. Next up, everyone's favorite, burpees. Take it up and back. Strong arms, good leg extensions. Good. We've got four more. Hannah's really executing these really well. Lovely strength. Hold it up and fast feet. Good. So another little moment to get your heart rate back a little bit. We're still working those legs. Good. Last little burn. Just keep going. We go up, up, up. Good. So here, as you can see, Hannah's really extending her legs and aiming to touch the floor each time. We keep going. This is a burner, so you can use this cardio. Anytime you need to do a quick warm up, it's five minutes, but it's really, it's a blast. It gets you warm. Good. Lovely, back to your jog. Well done, Hannah. Jog. Good. Keep going here. We've just got one little last push, and then we're done with our cardio. So knees come back up. You'll be tired now, but you really want to keep those knees up. Control those arms. Strong core. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and come down. Good. Let's march it out. So like I said, use that to warm yourself up. 
or if you just want a little cardio blast in your own time. Good. Great, so into the next part of our warm up now, obviously we should be lovely and warm, but just before we go into our next part, I just wanna emphasize the importance of always being in a nice, strong parallel. So you want your legs to be wider than hip width for jazz. You want it to be a nice wide base. So you can keep that stance. Toes pointing forwards, make sure we don't turn into Superman. We want our toes facing forwards. Let's just have a little release after our cardio now. So you're gonna breathe in. And release through that back. And then straighten those legs here. Now we're gonna bend for two and stretch. We bend and stretch. Two more times, bend and stretch. Bend and stretch. Roll through your spine. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Head is the last thing to come up. Good. Take your head to the sides before we go into our isolations. Good. Lovely. Over to the other side. And pull that neck down. Don't hug the neck too hot tight. Just nice and soft. We're going to go into our head isolation. Taking it to the side. 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 Take it up. Down. And tilt. Tilt. Good. Half circle. Half circle. Big circle now. Other way. Again like that. Take it to the left. So we're doing four of each. Take it up. Down. Tilt it. Semi-circle. Semi-circle. Full circle to the right now. Now as you're moving, nice and slow. Good. Make sure you're keeping your ribs engaged, your core is engaged, and you're not arching your back. Good. Into our shoulders, rolling the back. Good. And the arms go now. And forwards. Arms go. We're going to use our right shoulder first. Small, medium. Now the arm goes. Good. Arm goes. Again. Good. And follow the arm. Good. We go ribs. Side, back, side. Good. So the tip is in the name. You're isolating. So you don't want to move any other body part. Just the ribs on this one. Good. Now we can squeeze this. Really getting our core engaged as well. Side, back, side, two circles. Now we're doing the same with the hips, forwards, side. So this can have a bit of a swing, so we're really getting nice and warm. But again, it's just the hips moving. You don't want to let those ribs get involved. Again, other side. Front, side, back, side, front, side, back, side. Again, side, back, side, two hips. Good. Take those arms out to second, Hannah. Now, lovely, before we go on, make sure we're really pushing down in our lats. You want those fingertips to really finish off that line. They should be elongating that position. Now, we're going to go into our side stretch. Can you just show me your side stretch to the Right, gorgeous. So keep that arm in front of you. Make sure we're not leaning on that leg. Gorgeous, so we're really using that oblique there. Beautiful, then we're gonna go into our flat back position from here. Gorgeous, so as you can see, Hannah's neck is beautifully in line with her back. Her head is in one straight line and that arm is in line with our, her ear. Then we're gonna take it down to that ankle. As we're here, you're gonna pull yourself into your leg. Breathe into it so you're not holding that tension but you're pulling yourself into that leg. Then we're gonna to come to center. Again, those hands can relax and you wanna think about lengthening that spine instead of just crunching over. Gorgeous. And then we're gonna roll up through that spine and come back to where we started. So we're going to do that now, but we're going to do it 
eight counts for each position, four counts for each position, and then two counts for each position. So just follow along and it will make sense. We take those arms out to second. We're gonna go to the right first. Eight counts each. Five, six, seven, eight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and front. Good, keeping that neck in line. Down to that ankle. And through. Roll up. Other side. Eight. Good. Flat back. Gorgeous, keeping those legs pulled up. Ankle. Good. And middle. We repeat that. Four counts now. Four, three, two, one. Switch. Ankle. Brilliant. Left side. Four. Flat. Ankle. Two counts. Keep your core engaged. One, two, switch. Switch. Roll up. Two, two. Keep those legs pulled up the whole time. Again, switch, switch, and we're just gonna do some side crunches. So follow along. You can now have your legs nice and bent. So you're really engaging that core. And the aim is to really work these obliques, which is gonna help us for any side stretches and getting our upper body nice and strong. Good. So you should be really holding that tension. We're now gonna lift the top arm, but you want your movement to stay the same. So you're not cutting it short. You're still making it nice and big like Hannah is. She's really working that core. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, have a little breath, well done. Great, so we've done our isolations, short but short but sweet, really just working through those isolations. We're now gonna go on to some leg conditioning, which is so important for any dancer because we need to get that strength, which is then gonna help us with our elevation, our leg extensions, and just general power in our movement. So before we start, you can then follow along, but I just wanna talk us through some of the main positions that we're gonna be doing in this little section. So Hannah, do you mind, let's face you to the side so they can see. We're gonna find our lunge position. So as you take it back, as you can see, Hannah's knee is almost on the floor, which is great. We wanna get as low down as possible. For this then, we're gonna come up into our retire position. So Hannah's gonna bring that back leg in and find that retire position, gorgeous. Now we're gonna be doing our oh, lovely rise as well. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna keep our arms in second the whole, sorry, first position the whole time. We're gonna take that leg back and then find that retire really sharp. So it's challenging our balance and it's really getting us on our leg for when we do pirouettes later. So lovely, Hannah, just show me one lunge back and then find that retire up. Gorgeous. The second time we do it, we're gonna go back to our retire. And as Hannah showed us before, we're gonna go up onto our rise. Gorgeous. Our next position that we're gonna find is our jazz second. So make sure your pelvis is lovely and flat. You don't wanna be sticking your bum back like a squat like we did in our cardio. You want it to be beautifully turned out here. Gorgeous. Lovely. Just like Hannah is showing us. From here, then we're just going to twist our let's say our left leg for this one into our lunge, yeah? We're gonna be working through first into second, first into jazz fourth, first, second, first jazz fourth. Gorgeous. So they're the main positions that I just wanted to touch base with before we go. And now you can follow along. So let's start with our feet in parallel. Arms are gonna be in first the whole time. You're engaging your laps. We're gonna take our right leg back to a lunge. We go back, two, three, four, up. Take it back, two, three, four, up. Back, two, three, four, up. Back, two, three, four. A little bit faster now. So back, find that retire. Back, up, back, up. Gorgeous, we take it back now to our rise. Pulling up through your head. Gorgeous, lovely control. Take it back to your lunge and you're just going to pulse for 16 counts. So you're working that front glute, which is then going to help us in our leaps, our jumps later on in class. Good. Two, bring it in. Reverse. So other side, brilliant. Take it back. 
up, gorgeous. If you feel yourself moving off a little bit, it's just a slight adjustment in that torso. Good, quicker now. Up, back, up, good. And as you can see, Hannah's maintained that lovely first position. Good. Really staying on top of that leg, well done. Take it 60, 15, 40, 13. Lovely strong core still, very good. Eight more, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Brilliant, quick shake those legs before we go into the second part. Lovely, find that second position. Arms in first again, pulse. So the reason why we're keeping our, our arms in first is so we can really engage our lats, which is such an important part of our jazz lesson and ballet. Ballet, jazz, contemporary, we want to engage these muscles to be able to hold a strong arm position and it also will help us turn in later. Let's turn into our lunge and second, lunge, second. So when your legs start to hurt, top tip, think about your core and arms so you're not focusing on that pain. Yeah, eight more, eight. Now what's really good to see with Hannah, she's really staying low. As it's starting to get harder, she's not coming up. She's staying right down in that position. Good, we're burning it out. 16 pulses, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. Good, eight more. Focus on your core and the legs will follow. Three, two, one, excellent. Good, 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 shake out those legs. Good, so again, that's another little short sequence you can take out of this class and just do it by yourself. If you ever need to do some warm up, do cardio straight into this and you get nice and warm. Beautiful, we're gonna go straight into a little rise section. So we're just gonna be working through our calves. Again, we're gonna take our arms into first, but we're gonna bring them in this time. So we're working in a jazz first this time. You're just gonna rise up. As you rise, you need to make sure you're staying right in that centre plane. So as you rise forwards, make sure you're not shifting that weight forwards. You're right on top of it. So we're just going to lower for two, up for two, lower for two, up for two. Gorgeous. Really controlling those feet as they come down. Beautiful. Back up. Lovely. Bit faster. Down and up. Down and up. Now what Hannah's doing really nicely is she's controlling the lower down, but then really shooting back up to test that ankle strength. Good, now just hold it up, Hannah. Great, take those arms up to fifth, keeping that weight exactly where it is. Arms to jazz second, palms facing down. Lower the heels and the hands as you go, lovely. We're gonna take those legs out to second now. We're just gonna work on our rises in our second position as well. So like I said earlier, make sure we're working in a complete parallel. You're not letting those toes turn out. Here we go. Arms to jazz first again. Rise up and down. Up and down. Up. Good, lovely control. Up and down, bit faster now. Up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. Four more, four, brilliant. Three, two, one, hold it at the top this time. Good, squeeze those ribs under a tiny bit, gorgeous, shoulders forward a little bit, great. Lower down for four, three, two, one, quick shake of the legs. So we're just gonna do our forward stretch exercise, which is a really good strengthener for our torso, but also working our hamstrings as well. So we'll just break it down slower and then we'll do it with some music a little bit faster. So you're taking those arms up for two. One, two, coming down to your flat back. Three, four, a nice contraction here. Imagine I'm pulling your t-shirt, Five, down six, up seven, down eight. So you're gonna find your rise now, holding it for four counts. Three, four, take those arms up. Five, 
six, and then lower the heels and the arms down, seven, eight. Then we repeat it all the way through. Yeah, so what I'm really looking for in this position, if you don't mind just coming down to your forward stretch, Hannah. Again, like we discussed earlier on the angle is the neck is in completely in line. So from the hips up until the head is a lovely straight line. You wanna think about squeezing those shoulder blades together in this position. And then as you're going into that contraction, belly button to spine, back down, belly button to spine, back down. Hannah's shaking, which means she's working hard and that's what you need to do. So let's do the exercise now, facing the side. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Contract and down, contract and down. Find your rise, hold, hold, hold. Come up for two, lower down, control. Again, one, two, three, four. Contract and down. Contract. Find this rise. Pull these legs up. Beautiful. Now hips forward as you rise. Lower down. Let's do one more. One, two, three, four. Contract and down. Contract and down. Find this rise. Push over the same point. Great. Hips forward. Strong core and lower. Brilliant. Well done. Good, good, good. Let's make our way down to the floor now, have a little stretch. So let's find this second again, but this time bring those hands onto your hips. Have a little moment here. If you feel any kind of niggles going on, just have a little moment here. Good, good, good. Stretch out those hips. Good. And find your way over to the right. So in this position, make sure we're not coming up to, um, don't go too fast that your heel's coming up. If you're lacking in a bit of flexibility at this time, just stay further up. It doesn't matter if that foot's even flat here, but you wanna keep that turn out. Good, good, good. Shoulders press back. And over to the other side. Good, good, good. Now arms off, transfer for four. Four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. Over, four. Three, pressing down in those shoulders. Other side. Down, two, three, two counts now. Down, for two. Down, for two. Two more. Excellent, lovely. Let's switch into that left lunge. So in this position, you want your knee to be completely over that, an that ankle. So you don't want to come over, otherwise you'll put too much pressure on that front knee. Lovely right angle position here hands to your knee, press down in those shoulders, strong core. Great, arms to fifth, still lengthening in that centre. Great, we're going to straighten those legs and take the arms to the second as we go. Good. Here we take it back. Three, two, one. Come centre. Again like that. Back, two, three, four, and centre. Lovely. Lift that front heel. Four, three, two, one. Good. Hold here. Beautiful. Come down. Let's straighten those legs. Good. So you're finding a triangle keep those hips as square as possible so that when we later have a stretch and split so you've already got those nice square hips. Just lift that back heel now so you're transferring your weight a little bit further forwards but not lifting that leg yet. Gorgeous. From here Hannah's going to take her leg up to a ponche. Gorgeous as high as that leg can go really squeezing that glute muscle so we can get some strength here. And now tiny little pulses. Up, up. So I'm putting my hand here so it's keeping the movement smaller. And we're really isolating that glute muscle. And that's gonna gain strength in our arabesques or our kicks to derriere. Beautiful, lovely. Take it down to your low lunge, Hannah. This time your back knee can be on the floor. And we're just gonna breathe into this stretch, yeah. 
If you'd like to, if you're quite loose, you can take your elbows down to the floor or you can just stay up on those hands, whatever you feel like you need to do to get the most out of the stretch. Gorgeous. And we're gonna transfer back now, sitting on that back foot, flexing that foot so you're getting more of a hamstring stretch and really lengthening that spine. So we're not just hunching that head down to your leg, you're really thinking about lengthening the spine to create more space in the hips. Great, and from here we're gonna slide down into our splits. So wherever you are at today, doesn't matter if you're not completely flat, you just wanna work at relaxing into this position. Great. So I would say it's always good to hold these positions for longer than what you probably want to. So at least 30 seconds, you're really getting that stretch. We're not gonna hold it so long today, but if you do wanna pause the video and hold it for a little bit longer, you can do that. Great, let's come out of it, Hannah. Good, good, good. And we're gonna do all of that again on the right side. So starting in our lunge, getting nice and warm. Great. And take those arms up to fifth. Gorgeous, just transfer your weight back a little bit. Yep, good stuff. And straighten and down. Straighten and down, that's it. Straighten and up. Really pulling down, yep. We all lose it sometimes, but it's about getting back on our core. Slight adjustment is what Hannah did, and it got her back on her leg. Take it back. Three, two, one, and up. Two, three, four, again. Back, two, squeezing those shoulders together, lovely. Take it back, two, three. Now stay here this time and just lift that front heel. Brilliant. This is quite hard, so if you need to keep that on the flat foot, that's absolutely fine. Good. Take it to your triangle position. Again, keeping both heels flat and really thinking about keeping those hips nice and square so you're not opening up in those hips. You want them facing completely to the side. Gorgeous. And lift that back heel for me, Hannah. Gorgeous. So transferring that weight, but still trying to keep that body as close as possible to that front leg. Great. And we're going to lift that leg up to ponche now. Good, good, good. Really squeezing behind that knee, squeezing behind that supporting knee as well. Good, good, good. Tiny little pulses. I'll put my hand here again. Up, up, up. So by the end of these pulses, you should really feel that burn. But you're not only increasing your flexibility here, but you're increasing the strength around your hip and glute area. Great, and back down to your lunge. Back knee can go down this time. Again, like last time, you can keep your elbows on the floor or you can keep your hands up. It depends on what you want to get out of the stretch. If you take the elbows down, you're also getting a little bit more of a stretch in that front hip and you're kind of loosening up that area. Good, and transfer back, Hannah. Flexing that front foot so you're really getting that nice hamstring stretch nice long spine so imagine that's it so imagine i'm putting your head a bit closer towards me gorgeous whenever you're in a stretch make sure you're breathing it sounds silly but you want to be breathing in through your nose out through your mouth so you're not holding that tension in the muscles you want to aim to lengthen them and that helps by relaxing good and down into your splits Again, if you want to spend a little bit longer here, just pause. Good, good, good. And if you also want to test your balance, you can take your arms out to second, up to fifth, wherever you like. Good, let's come out of that. Good, good, good. Quick shake of the legs. That's it, relax those hamstrings. We're gonna go into a stretch in second now. So here we really want to aim to keep our knees facing the ceiling. So Hannah, can you try and roll your knees in? Yeah, we don't want that. We want to really think about those knees facing as much to the ceiling as possible. 
good, good, good. Now lengthen down in those shoulders, really sit up in it, gorgeous. We're gonna repeat kind of what we did up on our feet. We're gonna do each position for eight counts. So we're gonna to go to the side and then over that leg, then we're just gonna come up to the center straight away. Ready, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Over, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Find that center, lengthen, other side. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Over. Gorgeous, come up. Lovely, we're now gonna swing round. So we're gonna go second, over, over, and up. Over, round, over, and up again. Over, round, over, over, round, over, and up. Gorgeous, lovely. You can just have a little moment for us. Good, good, good. So we're now going to do some flat backs in second. So we're gonna take our legs into second. As we're here, we wanna lengthen those arms up to be in line with our ears. Now, like we did also standing up, you're gonna come into your flat back. So we're gonna come forwards. And instead of letting those hands hit the floor, you're using your muscles to hold that. So again, you're get, gaining your flexibility, but also your strength. You're then going to come back up. When we get up to the center, we'll take those arms down and then come back up. We're gonna do that four times, which is very challenging. Don't come too far down. So that, can we face the side a minute, Hannah? What I don't want to see is you trying to come too far down and then your arms coming out of line. Yes, like this. We want to keep those arms in line with those ears so you're really gaining that strength in the back as well. So even if it means we don't come as far, yeah? Lovely. Let's take those arms up to fifth. Good, five, six, five, six, seven, eight, come one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, come up, two, three, four, arm second, and up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, come up, two, three, four, push down in those lats, lovely, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, come up, last time, inch further this time, one, two, three, four, five, yes, back up, two, three, four, and squeeze those legs into your chest, gorgeous, lovely, so we're going to go on to some centre practice first, we're going to do some kicks in the centre before we travel a little bit more and go a little bit more advanced, so we're going to start with our left leg behind and our arms are going to come to a jazz second, palms facing down, lovely strong core to start. So we're going to do three steps, starting on the left leg, one, two, three, swish in front, two, three, swish, one, two, three to second, one, two, three to second. Then we're going to come behind, one, two, three, and you're going to find an allonge position. So with this front leg is going to be on a fondue, really keeping that turn out, that back arm is going to work at the same time as that back leg, and you're really aiming to keep that arm in line with that ear. Gorgeous, and then repeat, one, two, three, up, then coming behind, one, two, three, you're gonna kick that front leg, kick, you're gonna transfer that weight onto that right leg, go down into a ponche, just fingertips on the floor, and then step, tonju, so you can start again. Let's do that one more time on the right. So, arms to second, stepping back on the left leg first. Six, seven, eight, one, two, three, swish up, one, two, three, swish up, one, two, three, second, one, two, three, second, one, two, three, allonge, one, two, three, allonge, one, two, three, kick, step down, step up. So after that ponche, it's really important that you think about that core and those glutes tucking underneath so you can get back on that leg to start again. Lovely. I think we should try that straight away with some music. That's quite a simple exercise, but we really want to work on our floor pressure. So Hannah, just show us um, your kick to front using your floor pressure. Gorgeous. Yes. So we want to work through that tonju before it then lifts. 
So then we're really working from lifting the leg from underneath instead of just lifting from the quad. Top tip, which I find useful to tell people with their kick technique, think about what your working leg is doing, whether it's in parallel, whether it's in turnout, and then that is what your supporting leg is going to do. So when you're coming to Devon, it's almost like a parallel slash natural turnout. It doesn't have to be completely parallel. So that's what your supporting leg will do. When you're going to second, this is definitely in turnout. You're thinking about shifting those hips forwards, nice flat pelvis. So then your supporting leg has to be turned out. And then the same again with derriere, your working leg is going to be turned out because it would be a little bit odd if your knee was facing the floor. So that means your supporting leg is gonna be in a complete turnout. So for those of you that are still new to the jazz technique, that's a good way of thinking about your placement. Lovely, so take those arms out to second, Hannah. We're gonna be stepping on our left leg first. Ready, five, six, five, six, seven, yeah. eight, one, two, up. Gorgeous, really using that floor. Now we turn out that supporting leg. Gorgeous, one, two, three. Lovely fondue here, one, two, step, kick. Core as we come up, lovely. Good, now really important, we're keeping our lats engaged the whole time. So our arms are moving as little as possible as we're kicking. Good, one, two, three. Let's go one more time. Yeah. One, two, three. So if you wanted to repeat this exercise a few times over, that's gonna build your stamina, as well as working on your flexibility in your hips. So if you wanted to do it over and over again to work on getting your heart rate up a little bit more, you can do that. Now this is quite an advanced sequence, um, but you can always slow it down. You can focus on the individual elements if you're still working on that technique, or if you fancy a challenge, you can make it quicker and give it a go. So we're gonna start with our feet in parallel. I do a lot of these sequences in my jazz classes. There's a lot of change of direction and um, change of spot. So we're really getting used to applying our turning technique and then we can apply it to routines because you're never just gonna do part of a turn. Yeah, you're always gonna be coming out of something. So I really try and drill this in lesson so we're getting it in our body. So our first little step is a step turn step, really staying on nice bent legs, grounding through the floor. So we're going one and two. Those arms are gonna come into first and then come out to a jazz fourth position with those arms. Then you're gonna part de bray towards that front arm. So this is my left at the minute, but you can always reverse it. So you're gonna part de bray, bringing those arms into first again. Pas de bore here, lovely. So you're coming into a third position here, nice rounded arms. So that's quite fast. So I want you to spot to the front the whole time. So don't look to the side at all yet because we wanna be able to make that spot really clean to get. So you're gonna step turn, step turn out, pas de bore, lovely. Really nice and low. I don't wanna see up, up, down, up, up, down. We really wanna work on grounding through the legs and traveling the floor as much as possible. So we finished here. I've got my right arm in front and left foot in front at the minute, but again, you can reverse it. Then you're gonna chasse. This is where you're going to change your spot. So now you're gonna change your spot to the side. So you chasse down, lengthening that right arm and then whipping that left arm in, into far chene. So you'll go five, six and seven and eight and. Yeah. So straight after here, you're gonna hold it down in that chasse a little bit longer. Five, six and seven and eight and. As you step out of it, that's when you're gonna to look to the front again because we're changing our spot again. Lovely. Let's just go from the start up to there before we carry on. Five, six, seven, eight, one and two, three and four, five, six and seven and eight and. Gorgeous. Lovely. Let's say after the chenets, we're just gonna take those arms down by our sides. Beautiful. So really nice control, really strong placement in those arms, which is gonna help you move fast. That is quite a quick tempo that we're working to, but you can slow it down. So you can literally go one and two to really check you're getting those positions if you'd like. So we've just finished. Our weight is in our right leg. You're gonna do a slow part of break right under. Left leg is gonna go first. So you're going one, two, 
three, finding that prep position. When you're doing your prep, you wanna imagine that your weight is majority on that front leg. So then when you lift into that retire, you don't have to then make a huge adjustment with that body. You should be able to just lift that leg up and you're just lengthening instead of making any sort of maneuvers with that top half. So we're going one, two, three. Quite challenging again, but if you wanna make it simpler, I'll show you a different option. You're going to do a single or a double turn. Single or double, five, six. You're gonna come down into your fondue and you're gonna hold onto these arms and then you're gonna go straight up into that turn and scoot those arms up. So the arms are gonna be in a first. As you fondue, they're gonna whip into your, your chest and then you're gonna come straight up into another turn. Yeah, so again, that is quite challenging. You can either do singles or you can do doubles for both if that's there for you. So Hannah, just show us from the pas de bore. So you're going one, two, three, turn and up. Gorgeous. So if we can do that, that's lovely. Or if you just want to do a single for both, that's absolutely fine as well. Yeah. From here, you're going to lower and that you've got to control that as well. It goes five, six, up seven, eight. You're then coming down one. And that's just going to be a transfer over to the side. Nice bent leg. One. Gorgeous. Let's go from the top, Hannah, up to there before we do the last half. Five, six, seven, eight, one and two, three and four, five, six and seven and eight and one, two, three, four, up and up, one. Gorgeous. So that weight just went a little bit too far back then, but you can use those arms as you step out of it to get your weight back in the right position if you do feel like you're pushing back a little bit. So from here, you'll go one. You're going to pas de, re, pas de bore under using your left leg. One, two, three, four. So now you're facing the back, which you might think, oh, that's strange. But we really want to see that you're using those back muscles and you're finding that good position in that third position again. From here, you're going to do a step turn. Step, turn and then into an axle, which I will break down in a second. But Hannah, do you mind just showing us what we do in our axle? You're gonna do up, ball change, up. Gorgeous. So you're gonna do one step turn, ball change into your axle. Let's just face that to turn the front. In case some of you haven't done an axle before. The leg that you're on already, so normally there's gonna be a prep. In this exercise, you do a little ball change or a little step step. So my weight's in that left leg. From here, you're going to jump with that leg in retire. Yep, so that's what you'll do. Then the next part is you wanna tuck in that bottom leg, gorgeous. So almost like you're aiming to touch your bottom with that underneath leg, gorgeous. So if you were taking out the turn, it would go tap, tap, up, yeah? Gorgeous, we're just going to take the arms, uh, if you're lifting that right knee, that's the highest knee, you're gonna whip that right arm round your head. Just gives you a little bit more momentum and we'll keep that left arm in second as we do it. Now, if we add the turn, we go. Ball change, tap, gorgeous. So as you can see, there's two turns in total. So the ball change has the first turn, which is gonna start that momentum. And then the actual axle element is the second turn. Yes. Good. So from this part, we just step out after our uh, double turn. We go one, two, three, four. You've got your step turn first. So in total, there's three turns. Yep. So you've got five, six, and seven, eight. Gorgeous. Can we just see that, Hannah, from the step? Six. Uh, I'll count. All right. That's all right. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four five, six, ball change, ha, gorgeous. Now from there, we are gonna step straight onto it. So it's quite hard for Hannah to stop it mid space, but then we'll continue. So after you've done your axle, another little challenging uh, change of direction, you're gonna come straight onto that right leg and you wanna focus on bringing your spot back to the front. So after your axle, it's quite hard to control, but think about those arms pulling back and your weight pulling forwards, focusing your eyes to the front and then you can control it. So timing wise, it will go five, six, ball change axle, come round one, two. You're going straight into a calypso, which is a turning leap. 
pretty much, yeah? So from here you go one, two, chasse down, three, four, into your calypso. Now, again, if you've not seen this before, done this before, you can have two straight legs, but more than often you're going to have a straight front leg and an attitude back leg, yeah? We're gonna take the arms out as we chasse, bring them into first and then open up. And you really wanna think about opening up your chest as you do that to create almost, a not a back bend, but you wanna high release in that back, yeah? So Hannah, can you just show us from here to the end? Six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, lovely. And we can roll out of it. If you haven't got a lot of space or you're not used to rolling out of the Calypso, you can just land and then step out of it. It's your choice. So as I said, that's quite an advanced sequence, especially when we're working to tempo and quite fast of the music, but it's a really good challenge to get you on your leg and get you changing direction. So let's go from the top, Hannah, with no music, and then we'll try with. So we go, we'll go a little bit slower, five, six, seven, eight, one and two, three and four, five, six and seven and eight and one, two, three, four, up and up and down, two, three, four, five, six and seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five. Let's try with some music. Really focusing on that change of spot, staying up on our leg, yeah, finding those moments. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight, one and two, three and four, five, six and seven and eight, This has um, a few different leaps. We're working on our side leap, our front développé leaps, and our tilt jump, which might be new for some of you. So we'll just have a little look at that as well. So working on linking it together as well and not kind of just stop starting into our leaps, but having a nice movement quality in between. So you're gonna start by stepping on your left leg. So whether you wanna start with your feet together or here ready, wherever you like. So we're gonna step onto the left and you're going to spring and down. So we wanna see lovely pulled up legs here, lovely leg extension. So you're gonna step on your left, it'll be the right, then you'll land on the right, lift the left and then here. Arms are then gonna go over at the same time, just like that, gorgeous. So it's different to a circular spring. We wanna work on our nice elevation in that spring, yeah? So you go one and two. Step will change to the side, three and four, straight into your side leap. Step, side leap, you'll land across, so you're gonna land in front and then turn into a hinge. So when you do your hinge, one of my favorite positions, you're gonna bring that uh, toe into your uh, knee, so you've got that nice retire, then it's just the hips that are shifting forwards, gorgeous. I'm gonna take those arms back so we can see that nice flex and you can see that shape in those arms. So just linking it together, lovely. So we go, step, spring, spring, step, ball change, step, side, step, back, gorgeous. From there, so you wanna control it, but we are gonna be coming forwards again. You're gonna do a step, ball change, step, ball change. You're going to do a développé leap, but on a quasi position. So it's gonna be crossed, but you're gonna bring those arms to the front. So you're not closing yourself off too much. Your legs are gonna be crossed, but your chest is gonna be nice and open, palms facing down, yeah? So from here you go, step, ball change, step, leap, and then step, step into your tilt jump. So we'll just have a little kind of moment with this. 
With your tilt jump, make sure you're not just jumping and it's just that working leg. We wanna try and have that escape of the legs. So Hannah, do you mind just showing us a step, step into your tilt? Step, step up. So as you can see, Hannah's supporting leg is escaping. So instead of just having one leg up and the other leg down, you're trying to aim to get a straight line. If this was my legs, that's what you wanna try and get, yeah? And then your arms are going to mirror them as much as possible, yeah? Let's take the head over that supporting side as well. So we're getting a little bit more reach in that side. So let's take it just from, we've done our hinge. We're gonna go into our step ball change. Six, seven, eight, step ball change, step, leap, step, step up. Beautiful, and we can just step out of it, finish it off, and then you go. So again, it's, there's quite a few little um, advanced leaps in there, but it's a good little combination to kind of just showcase your elevation, showcase your different types of leaps but having a nice fluidity throughout. So let's go from the top, stepping onto your left. Every uh, side I've said, again, you can switch it onto the other side. So on this side, you'll be stepping on the left, just reverse it so you're making sure you're getting even on both sides. Let's have a go. Five, six, seven, eight, one and two, three and four, five, six, seven, eight, one and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, Hannah, so we'll go just all the way through without any music, just to make sure we've got the sequence and then we'll try it with. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight, one and two, three and four, five, six, seven, hinge, step, we'll change, step up, step, step up and finish. Let's try it with some music. Okay, Hannah, let's try it with some music. Ready? Five, six, Five, six, seven, eight. 